Right. Cooking Next is a man in charge of probably the most talked about new restaurant in Britain at the moment. It's the Pollen Street Social. It's Mr. Jason Atherton, and congratulations on your restaurant. Thank you. And all the awards that come in with it. We all Thank knew that you. anyway. Well deserved. Thank you. So what's on the menu then for us? It's today? a real simple home dish. It's a... Uh, uh, Chicken fries, because a lot of people don't, you know, especially chefs don't use chicken a lot. So yeah. I'm going to use a chicken fry, which has got a real meaty flavour. Yeah. So chicken fry, roasted squid, and it's served with a pipirar, which is a basque, almost like a basque which vegetable. Which we'll get onto because I know you want to yep. get that chicken yep, on as absolutely. well. So I'll get the, uh, the old onion slice for you as well, for a pipirar, because I want to... You want to get that chicken on first of all. Now, you're yep. using the thighs there, because you say... It's got great flavour, you know. If you look yep. at how much meat's in there, but all you've got to do is just make sure you crisp up the skin properly. Yeah. So we're just going to put four of those on. And get rid of those. Thigh's my favourite bit of the chicken. You like it? Yeah, it's delicious, right? Much, yeah. much better than I like it. It's juicy, it's nice, mm. and if you keep it crispy, I think it's great. Mm. So, a little bit of oil in the pan, and we're just going to crisp up the skin, then we're going to wrap those in a little bit of serrano ham. Right. So, get those on first. Put that down, like so, in the pan. Just a little, just a little bit of salt. Up. Sorry, James. Thank you. Salt on, like so. We'll get that too hot because we don't want to burn the skin. They singe quite easily, you know. Yeah. So that's going like that. Right, now, onto the Basque stew. Yeah, I've got the uh, knife there for you. Thank the you. The onions are there already. I'll do the garlic now. Right. Now, a lot of people would have had this if they've been, a, been abroad. Yeah, and it, it, apparently it represents the Basque flag. Right. Oh, the colours, is it? A bit of useless information for you then, if anybody knew that. Is it? <laughs> so. I've got some other useless information. Sam has tomatoes. Well, that's what we're tomatoes? using, yes. Go on, James, please. Yeah. Originally come from Italy, of course. Sam tomatoes from Naples. And Naples is particularly good for growing tomatoes. And Sam tomatoes, because they're sweet, they've got low in seeds, particularly good for tin tomatoes, because they don't have really any... This, is my, part, this is my part of the show, by the way. But anyway. And because <laughs> tomatoes like being brought up on uh, volcanic... <laughs> volcanic ash and dust and all that yeah. sort of stuff yeah. in their ground. It's high okay. in nutrients, which makes brilliant tomatoes. And that's why they're very good for pizza. And we'd just like to say thank you to Jason Atherton they today for this <laughs> wonderful recipe. <laughs> <answer. laughs> right. That goes in one more? Yep, in, that's it, yep. So, and we're just right. going to use a bit of salt to soften the onion. Yep. In like so. We're going to stick in the... Or we'll just let them soften a bit. Now, as well as a new restaurant... Yep. A new little... Ah, a little bambino. A little yeah, a little daughter. She came last Monday. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, yeah, a little baby girl, Jemima. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it was just amazing, you know. And 40 next week. And 40 next Tuesday. Is that why you were in a cardigan? Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's fashion, James. It's, That's it's fashion. <laughs> it's what? Fashion. It's fashion. This is where I'm it's going wrong. I'm on your side, kid. It's, it's my Val Dunican look. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a cardigan, my producer's saying. He would know. He's over 40. So there you go. Right. So there you go, Nat. <laughs> He's in the oven. So we're just going to flick those over. If you can stick them in the oven for me, James. Is it fashion, really? Yeah, honestly. Is it? Yeah. Honestly. There you go, lofty. Yeah, it is, isn't it? All yours, you see? You'll be all right. Yeah. So stick up for me. I swear, if it's, it's fashion, not, then it right? means my husband's really unfashionable. <laughs> <laughs> right, the chicken so, thighs are going in. Yep, yeah, <laughs> so that's coming down. Then we've got um, roasted wood peppers. Wood roasted peppers. Yes. So we've just... All we've done is charred those, scrape the skin off, Julian them up, and then we're just going to stick those so over the top. You can buy them in a tin or a jar, they're fantastic. Yeah, and then they are fantastic. Yeah, it's one of those, one of the only pre-prepared products I will actually use in, in my kitchen, you know? Yeah. So that goes in like so, like there. Now, James, can you make the... Um, yes. Yeah, can you make the uh, squid the ink dressing. dressing for me, please? Yes. Squid in goes, ink dressing. Please, yeah. So where's this idea come from, then? Uh, we used to use squid paint at El Bully, so basically right. he, uh, for Anwood he, for Anne would work out the uh, ratio of how you make emulsion paint, and yeah. then we'd use the, the centre from the squid, and then copy the recipe to make squid paint, and we'd paint the plates. As you do. Yeah. As you do. There, there you go. go. And, and the taste? Yeah, it tastes great. Yeah? Yeah, so uh, I want a little bit of chicken stock, a little bit of uh, sherry vinegar, yeah. and then just season it up for me. Tiny bit of sherry vinegar, so yeah. I know you want some in your, Please, yeah. your dish as well. <coughs> so in the... Uh, I'll put a little bit of paprika and then the sherry vinegar. We're just going to let that caramelise down. And yeah. after about 35, 40 minutes, you'll end up with this. Yeah. Okay. And you end up with that, right? Yeah. And for anybody that doesn't know, I mean, the restaurant where you worked at, uh, the Al Bully restaurant, yeah. it's regarded as the best in the world? Yeah, it's just closed yeah. a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Forever? Forever. Yeah, I'm afraid so. And it's that's turned into, like, a, an institute for training chefs, you know? It's fantastic, yeah. And he's just opened up a tapas bar, which he was, he was saying he was expecting it to be 
you know, a, a small little tapas barn. He's getting 30,000 requests a day for a, for a seat there. Could oh, you imagine? Unbelievable. Wow. Just a small little tapas barn. Just a small little tapas barn. <laughs> <laughs> so all we're going to do is just, just yep. chop this up. Because I want to use it more as like a dressing. Now, you've always sort of had new ideas when it comes to restaurants. So, yeah. Uh, when we saw sort of first, when you first opened Maze, it was that sort of grazing, sort of almost like a, like a sushi, but not that way yeah. of eating. You know, small yeah. portions, but a, a different well, amount of Well, me and Gordon opened that. It was, I, I wanted it to be the first sort of high, high powered, high end, I suppose, Mission Star tapas type restaurant, which, yeah. it, which that's what it became famous for. Um, and then when, you know, I decided to do my own restaurant, it was just time to do something different, you know. So we just moved away and. And this is more about, um, you know, calling it, it's a nod to my northern roots, we're calling it a social, um, even though it's in central Mayfair, and, it, and it's just a case of it becoming a restaurant for the people, where you can just come and have a beer, yeah. a glass of wine, a full gastronomic experience, or just mm. come and have a plate of um, squid, you know? And it's your yeah. idea of heaven, Angela, because you've got a dessert bar. <laughs> we have yeah. a dessert bar. Oh, really? Bar. Where you oh. can just go and have dessert? Just yeah. go and have, have a pudding. pudding. I'd really like to come to your restaurant. <laughs> we, <laughs> we'd love to have you. <laughs> Right, right, so, so this, that goes this back dish, in. Is yeah, it always fun. sort of diced oh, up yeah. like that? Or? Yeah. It's no, you can li it's yeah. normally left whole, but the reason why I've diced it up is I want it to look more like a sauce, Jim. Right, right. Okay. Okay. Because it's more like the flavours yeah. I'm after, so that goes in. Go. If you can... Uh, <laughs> clean down your board a bit. You know, yeah. Jason, I, see you, uh, I saw you using some uh, paprika. Can you use smoked paprika and yeah, yeah, absolutely. add some black olive to it as well? Absolutely. Yeah, you can. It's very much of that region too. Yeah, and then it becomes like, yeah, you pronounce it better than me in French. Me being from Skegness. Yeah, that's good. Pissilia, yeah. There you go. No, it's good. Yeah, man. There you go. Yeah. We never learned that at school. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. no, no, we were struggling I mean, with English at my school. <laughs> <laughs> right. Lovely, so that's James. That. Now, yeah, tell us about the squid then that we have here. Yep, the squid goes on. So we're on a really nice hot pan. And these. The Spanish do love their squid. Yeah, this is, this is English squid and yep. this is Spanish squid. And obviously, you can see the difference because in the UK, we don't fish them out that small. Yeah. You know, but, in the, it, but we, we take them a little bit bigger. But in Spain, they eat anything, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so we've got these uh, tiny little chipriones, they're called. Yep. And then the, the more larger squid, but we're just going to use the tentacles off the larger squid. Right. So, it's right. really nice, hasn't it? Is there a difference in taste between the big ones? Yeah, these are a lot sweeter. And you just eat, eat everything, all the little cart cartilage inside, the whole lot. They're just sensational. You've really sold that to them up over there. <laughs> 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 yes. Ooh, the lovely, lovely, lovely bit of cartilage oh, on cartilage. Saturday morning. <laughs> <laughs> But they keep the crispy. You eat the beak, oh, it's lovely, that. <laughs> right, I'm going to then wrap our yeah. chicken. You want that wrapped in there? Yes, please, yeah. A little bit of ham. And uh, don't forget the old today's series, please, including this one from Jason on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. Then you can find dishes from our previous shows at bbc.co.uk forward slash recipes. Right, right. Get the chicken. A little bit of that. And then you want this wrapped in the ham. Yes, please, yeah. Just, you, you can just do, like, two. Two's enough. Yeah. I'll keep two... Ooh, natural. Ah. So, right, just dust this down a little bit, like so. A really, really hot pan for this. And nice in goes and the crispy, squid. Yeah. Nice Crispen them up. Now, when you're cooking squid, you, you make sure you get fresh squid. That's the most important bit, isn't it? Yeah. You want to look, make sure it's really nice and clean looking. You can see how beautiful and white that is uh, and how pristine it is. And just, and just put it up to your nose and as soon as you smell it, you know straight away if it's, uh, if it's yeah. fresh or not. It's just one of those ingredients. What's really led by the nose, you know? But it's not really like octopus. And when I was over in Spain, the octopus, they dry it out and then pan fry it. stops it from being rubbery. Yeah. Can I ask a question? It might be a stupid question. What's the dif difference between an octopus and a squid? Um, Jason. The difference between an octopus and a squid? Well, I don't know, what is the difference, really, I suppose? Really, it's they're a both a different beast. Both, the same, oh. both from the same family. They've both got much. eight legs, haven't they? Yeah. I don't know. We've got so, go ask, ask somebody on Twitter. Or <laughs> <laughs> my face or whatever they call it. You'd be surprised at what you can get answered on there. Whatever it is. Right. right. There's a size of parsley. Yeah, there you go. Size. Yeah. It's not too much, just a little bit of folded in. Squid's ready. Yeah. Nice and crispy, and then we're ready to plate. Right, okay. We'll get rid of that. There you go. I'll right, get a spoon for that. Yeah. So that you could just eat on its own, like you said, as a tapas. Yep. And could you pass me the uh, chicken, please, James? Chicken. Yep. Yep. Just finish that with a little bit of Spanish olive oil. Yeah. <laughs> like so. Over this one. One there. Thank you. Another one there. Right, and then we just place these around the plate. One there. Yeah, don't want to. Don't want to ruin my Christmas jumper. <laughs> Thank you. And a little bit of the pipirard on top, like so. 
just arrange it around. So we just finished off with a little bit of parsley, but the sherry vinegar yeah. went in there sherry as well. Sherry vinegar, the paprika, all went in. A little bit on the plate. On goes the squid. We'll just put some of the tentacles on like that. Arrange the little chipperones around the outside. Wow, this is my food heaven, man. And no part, you can't afford this for your menu either. <laughs> <laughs> Another yeah. one, dash. And then the squid ink dressing, which we just, which is obviously a perfect marriage for the dish. That's so. A few bits of coriander crust. So remind us what that is again. And this is my roasted squid with chicken thighs, a pipirard sauce, and some little baby coriander. I'll tell you, it's good. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it does look, I have to say, amazing. There you go. Has have a seat over here, James. Has the squid ink got a, got a flavour to it? Yeah. You've had to find out. Is it really fishy? <laughs> is it really fishy? Is it really fishy? Yeah. The thighs cut cut so quickly when yeah. you do like that, yeah? Absolutely. Oh, I so don't normally eat a tentacle, but I'm going to eat your <laughs> tentacles. Remember, it's got the cartilage, it's got yeah. the guts, it's got everything in it. Oh, come on. Go on down it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's beautiful, it's crispy, it's great. Mm. Good. Yeah, you see? It's good, you see? Oh, really mm. nice. Yeah, there the sweetness of the peppers work really well, and yeah, yeah it's a great dish. There you go. Right, oh, let's yes. go back to crew to see what Tim has chosen to go with Jason's superb squid.